Welcome to Orientation. In this episode of Orientation, we will be talking about Chinese New Year. Now, when I say that, people usually think of this. Don't think that, or they will find you, and they will fly up into the air and realistically kick you in the face. I don't even know where I am now. Where's script? And we're already off topic. Chinese New Year's uh, usually occurs in February, so most people ask why it's called New Year's. That's because we're using a different calendar than you. Chinese New Year is the new year of a lunar calendar, which is defined by the phases of the moon, so it's the first full moon of the new year. Which, this usually causes a lot of confusion among Chinese Americans. Happy New Year! No, no it isn't. Anyway, Chinese New Year's is a festive holiday with fireworks, cake, and more cake. Anyway, the reason the color red is always there is uh, because it's a sacred color for this holiday. Now, um, years ago there was this evil dragon thing running around China on New Year's, killing people and eating lots of stuff. So they decided to get rid of it. So they uh, tricked it into eating a lot of rice cakes, which were, you know, really gloopy. So it glued its mouth shut and then they chased it away with fireworks. Which is why fireworks in the color red are shown. And uh, why they have us like uh, eating these really weird rice cakes is beyond me. <laughs> Let's see what others have to say about this sacred holiday. To me, it symbolizes a lot of stuff. I don't know. Like we get things called hongbao, and we use the money to buy. Chinese New Year is very fun. The color red is a very sacred color. Yes. I don't hold the support in communism. Okay. Chinese New Year is not only a festival to celebrate the coming New Year, it is also a gathering party for the whole family, just like Christmas for Americans. Another name of the Chinese New Year is Spring Festival. The beginning of the Lunar New Year also marks the coming of spring in most areas of China. So it is also a festival to celebrate the spring. For students, spring festival is in the middle of the winter vacation. Companies also have a one week long break for employees to go back to their hometown. Each year, hundreds of millions of people go back home to meet their families by trains, airplanes, buses, cars, and even motorcycles. This is called Chunyun. People will stick a spring festival couplets on both sides of the doors, and a Chinese character Fu cut by or written on red paper on the door to hope for good luck in the new year. At Lunar New Year's Eve, family members gather around the dinner table and have a big meal. Kids don't get presents. Instead, they often receive a red envelope filled with money in it from the elders in the family. In Chinese New Year, people also light fireworks and set firecrackers to celebrate. Uh, Kylo, uh, you need to speak it in English, please. Really? I can definitely not. What am I doing here? Uh, remember Chinese New Year. Remember the uh, party? Never speak of that again! Your line is, what's my line? That's what I'm saying. Right, right. All in all, Chinese New Year's is a great holiday. I mean, you get together once a year to see old friends and family, to meet old friends and then make new ones. I mean, it symbolizes a lot of stuff, you know, like rebirth, fortune, but to me it mainly symbolizes unity. I mean, sure, nowadays Chinese New Year may just mean, you know, the kids sit in a room upstairs playing video games while the adults just sing karaoke downstairs, but it still symbolizes unity. 